I want to get this off my chest and I want to be politically correct, but I feel like in order for me to be real, I just got to be real. Okay. Back in the day, if you're a woman and you're watching this, your ancestors, they didn't play that broke. Shit. If a man couldn't provide for you, he just didn't have bitches. Men that could not provide didn't have bitches. That was not a luxury for them. Men that actually had something to offer, those were the men that got married. Those were the men whose last names carried on. You have your last name because somewhere way down the line, somebody has it. So why are you laying up next to a loser, somebody that want to start a podcast, and you're eight months pregnant with his kid, and he want to be Adam 22? Are you fucking dumb? Like, are you really fucking dumb, bitch? And I mean that from the bottom of my fucking heart. I have had my fair share of dumb men, stupid, toxic relationships. I'm not better than nobody. I've walked that road. I've gone down that path. But I've never looked at a loser and said, I'm going to have a fucking kid. Like, that was never, ever, ever a thought that crossed my mind. It was bad enough that I was already caught up. It was bad enough that people already knew I was with that man, but to actually have physical evidence that at some point we were intimate together, aka a child, bitch, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Like y'all are sitting up here getting pregnant by people that can't even take care of themselves. He got in a relationship with you because he literally wants another mom. He has never lived alone. He can't even get an apartment in his own name. And you looked at him and said, that's just my baby daddy. Like, are you fucking dumb? Are you serious? You are. I know you are. Look at your kid right now. I really don't understand when, like, being a mom and having kids just became, like, so casual because it's actually, like, really a big deal to, like, bring life into this world. It's, like, a huge responsibility. And I feel like more people should be, like, discerning. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even sitting up here trying to make it seem like um, everybody that has money or everybody that's able to provide automatically qualifies as a decent parent. That's up to you, bitch. I'm not about to hold your hand and help you figure out what man would make a good dad for you. That's all you and God. That, like, literally, that ain't got nothing to do with me. What I'm saying is... Bare minimum, can he get an apartment in his name? What is his credit score, mama? Did he at least try to go to school? You got all these hopes, all these dreams, and he just laying next to you like, and you and you want to carry on that name. Because the baby doesn't get your name. The baby gets his name. That's what you want to carry on into the, like really, like for real, like this shit may sound so fucked up, but I really don't care. You want to bring a baby loser into this world. Are you serious? Are you serious? Like, hey, beautiful people. How are you all doing today? It's your girl by Javis, and I am back with another interesting video. Hmm. Hey. Okay. We just watched that together. What is your thoughts? The fact that some people just feel like when you see a guy physical appearance you already want to carry his child blah 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 you it's not even acting as a man already you're already thinking of carrying a child in fact you're already pregnant you're already ready to get pregnant and bear his child <sighs> there was a video i saw and someone was like what if your child probably a son has the same character as your baby daddy Hey, the women, the single mothers, they're shouting, hey, 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 hey. Some people are like, that's why before I get pregnant for any man or any dude, I must really know who he really is before I decide that, okay, 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 I can have your baby because gene, you know, there's something called gene. Uh, so before you decide that you want to have a child with somebody, have you, do you really know the person? Even if you get married to the person, do you really know the person? Because having a child is something that's going to be, as in, for the rest of your life. Yeah, you have that child for the rest of your life, unless death or something. But if there is none, the child is going to be there for the rest of your life. So it's a very huge decision. 
women it's a very huge decision to make and having kids with men that you already seen that they are deadbeat men you already seen that they are dirty men why are you still having kids with them why are you getting pregnant why are you getting pregnant with for these men like make it make sense <laughs> let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section let's go ahead and watch what other people have to say then we'll come back and talk about the video at the end of all the videos okay Our ancestors they didn't play that broke shit if a man couldn't provide for after i had my daughter i realized what womanhood meant for me a little bit more before i had my daughter it was definitely there but after i will say that i realized a little bit more the value that i held and the need for me to be in my feminine energy as much as possible and i'm not just talking about an external energy but like an internal spiritual energy a force field um that i was able to become that portal and bring in life and when i had my daughter i looked at all the disrespect that had come my way from dating and all the men that came my way and, and t tried to tell me about myself and tried to tell me about my value. They were wrong, they were lying, which is why I'm making these videos for you all. The reason why I'm making these videos for you all is because I had my daughter and I have a very, very, very generous and supportive husband, equivalent to Gomez Adams, obsessed. He's obsessed with me, he's obsessed with his family and that's the way that it should be. And anything else that doesn't offer you that type of value, don't give him a kid. Go back and watch this creator's video. Don't give him a kid. That's, that's one of the highest honors. Probably the greatest gift that you can give anyone, right? You could buy somebody flowers, you could build them a house, but to create life with them? Think about it. I want to get this off my chest and I want to be politically correct, but I feel like in order She's absolutely right. When you think about people or grandparents, grandmothers and great grandmothers, etc., they may have had jobs. They were hardworking men. You know, the woman would cook and clean and take care of the kids, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But those men were hardworking. You know what I'm saying? They deserve to come home to a hard I mean, a hot meal, rather. They deserved it because they didn't work hard for it. I don't understand. I call these brothers the podcast Negroes. They think the only thing they can bring to the table is love. Baby, it simply just don't. You can't pay no bills with just love. It just simply don't work like that. But, uh, yeah, carry on. Good night. They didn't play that broke shit. If a man couldn't provide for you. So real quick story time about this. And not too much on my grandmother because she is deceased. Mm -hmm. But still, she was spin straight fakes. No matter how much we didn't like to hear it. So whenever one of us got like an apartment that made a major milestone, all of us would kind of gather at that person's house, you know, just to show support. And this particular cousin, she had just got her own place. And though her mama and daddy was helping her with her rent, it still was a big milestone because she was making a lot of bad decisions. And this was one of her good decisions. Now, mind you, she kept telling us, oh, let me know when Mama and Papa pull up. And, yeah, that was because she had her little guy friend over there. But I don't remember if she was trying to hide him or, like, why exactly she wanted us to tell her when Mama and Papa was pulling up. But nonetheless, my mom and papa pulled up. Um, you know, we greeted them, done our hugs and kisses. She gave them the apartment tour, and then they sat down on the sofa. So that was when my grandmother noticed her little friend. So she was like, baby, who are you? So he introduced himself as my cousin friend. And my grandmother said, friend? So my cousin was like, mama, that's my boyfriend. So she said, oh, baby, are you aware my granddaughter just had a baby and you ain't the daddy? So he was like, yes, ma'am. She said, you aware this apartment ain't free. It costs money every month. It's called rent. He said, yes, ma'am. She said, oh, so in that case, you, you a provider. Oh, okay, okay. What you do for a living? He said, well, I'm in between jobs right now. She said, hold on, because I know I'm not up with the times, but I was in a workforce for 30 some my years. I ain't never heard that term in between jobs, what that is. So he said, well, something happened on my other job, and so I got let go, and right now I'm looking for one. 
She said, oh, so you unemployed. You should have just said you unemployed or you ain't got no job. So she said, baby, let me ask you something. In that moment, my cousin goes to intervene and my grandmother hit her with one of these. And she said, back down. My grandmother said, baby, when me and my husband was coming here, like at that corner, there's a gas station. Can you go over there and give me a Coca-Cola? I have acid reflux and that help. And yeah, I know it's acid reflux. Not too much on my grandmother. That's how she used to say it. So he said, yes, ma'am. But he never got up and moved. So my grandmother went on chit-chatting with us until she noticed he never moved and was like, baby, why you haven't went and got my Coca-Cola? So he said, oh, because I was waiting for the money. It was at this moment that my cousin got up and walked to the back of the apartment. My grandmother said, what money? He said, the, the money to buy the Coca-Cola. My grandmother said, baby, a Coca-Cola at, at this time, they was like a dollar, dollar fifty at the most. So she was like, baby, they ain't nothing but a dollar, dollar fifty. So he said, yes, ma'am, I know. So she said, so you trying to tell me you don't have a dollar, dollar fifty? So he said, not at this time. So she called my cousin from the bay and she said, tell your boyfriend to go and get you a Coca-Cola from that gas station. So she said, Momo, you serious right now? She said, what did I just say? So my cousin Mumba go get me a Coca-Cola from the gas station. So he said, well, where the stamp card at? My grandmother sat back and chuckled a little bit. She turned to my cousin and said, baby, if you wanted a dog, me and your grandfather could have stopped over there at the pound and picked one up. Because this man ain't got a pot to piss in, a window to throw it out of, nor a dollar fifty to buy a Coca-Cola. What can he do for you and your newborn daughter over there up in their room? I ain't gonna lie, we was sniggling and giggling. We, we was immature. But more of the story, my grandmother was spitting straight facts. That dude, of course, went on to use her, mooch off of her, manipulate her, led her to make, you know, a lot of negative life choices. And yeah, even though I was sitting there, that talk, it still resonates with me to this day, even though I've made bad choices when it comes to me. But my, grandfather, my grandmother has always made it known that my grandfather couldn't come check for her if he wasn't the type of provider that he was. So yeah, what my girl saying in this video is straight facts. <laughs> Cause it wasn't even about the Coca-Cola. It was the fact that my boy, she got a baby, she got rent. Clearly she bringing this whole apartment to the table and what are you bringing? Baby, you can't even bring a Coke. <laughs> That's why I had to catch myself. I used to be up in here crying over me who ain't had two pennies to rub together. But in my sprinkle sprinkle voice, I had Stockholm syndrome. I'm Kirinato. Sprinkle sprinkle. <laughs> if a man can provide, what are you doing with him? Because relationship works with love is important. And now we know men are not even capable of love. So you have to provide. Like if a man is not providing, what are you doing with him? I don't know like <laughs> and really if you go back to the creator video she was saying that our mother our grandmas were not settling for men that would do 50 50. they were settling for men that would go out there in fact if it's if for them to borrow money just for their families to be okay for them to starve for their families to be okay they would do it Yes, the mother do all the cleaning, the cooking. She do all the giving birth. She can give birth to eight, nine, ten children. But these men are providing. They are providing. What is wrong with men nowadays that all they do, all they talk about is 50-50. Like, I'm tired. All they want is, what are you bringing to the table? Okay, I, I went to work. You're just at home taking care of the kids. Like, oh yeah, now. Let me go to work and come at home and stay with the children. Let's see the work that is more flexible. All they want to talk about is 50 50, 50 50, 50 50, 50 50, 50 50. What do you bring? I want to know. Okay, want to buy something? How much do you have? Bring what you have. I bring what I have. Make it make sense. Ladies, we need to stop settling for this kind of men. If they are alone, they will understand that they need to change their standards. Because I really don't understand why. Look at the last stitch <laughs> he was asking for money for coca-cola from his babe grandma abomination like this is abomination where i'm from is abomination 
eh because normally i will feel like <laughs> they can use that to even test you coca-cola how much coca-cola like it's like the cheapest drink ever she's never telling you to go buy buy a wine buy a alcohol liquor she's telling you to get coca-cola and you're waiting for cash so that you can go hey and now when she, when her daughter or her grand her grandchild decides to settle with this man he's not gonna bring anything to the table she has a house already what does he have to bring to the table because someone that cannot go out to spend one dollar to buy to buy coca-cola what can he bring to the table nothing before you know you start saying 50 50 50 50 and when you see these men where they, they say that 50 50 i get so pissed off you don't go 50 50 with me you don't go 50 50 with me i'm like ah, ah, ah. where's your pride where's your pride as a man a man is supposed to provide for his family if a woman wants to help she's going to help at her terms not you enforcing the 50 50 and this is just to women that go ahead and settle for this kind of man i really don't know what you guys are doing and when you settle for them you now start having children with them then at the end of the day you regret yourself and at the end of the day the marriage or the relationship scatters because it's not it, it can't last a man that doesn't provide for you and you are spending all your money if he doesn't provide for you and even if he has the money he will spend it outside that's what they used to tell us a man that doesn't spend in the house will use that money and spend it outside go out with his friend hang out with girls and spend that money you will have that money you will have that luxury money to hang out with different girls because you are already sharing bills with him at home but if he's spending all his money at home the thoughts of him even going out to look for another babe to spend money for himself he's not going to see so i don't know why women just decide to some will say oh he loves me he loves me this is a sprinkle sprinkle video because <laughs> it doesn't have it's, love is not everything yes love is essential but it's not everything because at the end of the love what do you bring to the table how are you taking care of me and my children how am i seeing that you're hustling like i know sometimes situation the world is somehow that sometimes we walk and you might not even see what you're working for and that's just normal it happens to some people you're putting a lot of work and you don't even see the outcome it happens which is normal that's the kind of world we are living in but no man that you can see the as well you can see that this man really wants to do but is the little he has is trying so much to you know provide but you know you but you're not saying man that the ones that he has he doesn't even want to drop he wants but so he, he's feeling entitled to his money like this is my money i can do whatever i want to do what are you doing with this kind of man i don't know i don't know <laughs> let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all of that good stuff and i will see you all in my next video bye